Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily install Python into your Mac under three minutes. So let's start with the video. So first of all, all you have to do is come to this website. I'll give the link in the description to download the Python uh, latest version. So currently at the time of recording this video, the current version, the latest version of Python is 3.9.1. So you can also find the other uh, releases of Python, which are older versions uh, over here, but uh, I'll download the latest one. All you have to do is click on download Python. So once the download is complete, all you have to do is open the download package. So this is the installation screen. All you have to do is click on continue, then scroll down, continue, then continue. Uh, and agree with the license and uh, hit on install so I have to enter my password over here okay install software so here we can see the Python 3.9 has been successfully installed into into our system so what I'll do is uh, click on close now and move to bean yeah so now what you have to do is uh, hit command and space and uh, type in terminal. So once the terminal opens up, I will show you if the Python is successfully installed or not. So whenever you'll type in Python, it will by default open Python 2 because there are many legacy software which are compatible only with Python 2. But they are telling us that in the future, Mac OS will not include Python 2.7 and the recommended command will be Python 3. So Python 2 is by default installed into your system and you shouldn't try to mess with it because if you try to delete it or change the default settings, uh, it may crash your Mac. So let's see if Python 3 is successfully installed into our system. So first of all, we'll exit this. Okay, so once we are in our root, what we'll type in is python3 python3 hyphen hyphen version so now you can see the version of the python installed in our system is 3.9.1 which we downloaded from the python's website so now python3 has been successfully installed into your system if you want to run python3 all you have to do is type in python3 that's all the Python 3 has started. Now you can start coding. This is the output. Thank you for watching my video guys. If my videos are helping you, then make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.